So today we have a brand new tool all the way from Germany, which is a fret polishing system. And what we're gonna do is take a look at it today and compare it to some of the other fret polishing systems that I currently use in the shop. Let's take a look. So this fret polishing system does come from Germany, but I understand the shipping within Europe is excellent and the shipping all over the world is pretty good too. Nice. So Fredalizer sent me four tools to look at, and there's one in particular that I wanna look at first. It's the Fret Shaper. It's a spot leveling system. And this is it here. This is the Fret Shaper Fret Spot Leveling tool. So you'll notice that it is shaped very similar to a Fret Rocker. Now, I wanna show you what the competition is and tell you why this is gonna be better. So this is the Stumac Fred Kisser, and it cost $100. It's very expensive. Now here's the other thing that's wrong with this Stumac tool. The abrasive section is 300 grit diamond abrasive. And the issue is that it wears out after a couple of uses. So I use the spot leveler on a couple of guitars and after a couple, it just didn't work anymore. Like the abrasive wore out and I spent, at the time, I think I paid $130 for this. And I only got a couple uses out of it because the abrasive just wore out. So you can see the comparison between the Fret Kisser and the Fret Shaper by Fretalizer. They're nearly identical in terms of thickness, almost identical in terms of the length. So this cost uh, around 24 euros, but already, that's a quarter of the price of the Stumac system. So right here on every edge of the fret shaper, there's a tiny little indention. And I believe this is 0.2 millimeters indented, which is the exact thickness of the paper right there. And so what we do is we cut a little strip that's exactly that size and then we wrap it around and then we use this for spot leveling. And when the paper wears out, we can replace it. So this is the Fretalizer polishing kit. It comes with the Fretalizer polishing tool as well as the micro mesh. There's also a thick rubber band here. What we have here is a tool, very well designed and made in Germany. I mean, this thing was basically designed with your hand in mind and it just fits in there so nicely. Contoured for your thumb and for your palm. It fits nicely in here. And probably the best part is it's got a groove for the fret. So once we add the mesh paper over this, it'll contour over the fret and allow you to go through the grits and polish the fret. So here's some of the micro mesh that's very malleable. And we have various polishing grits at 1500. 2,400, 4,000, and 8,000. And we have some paper as well that comes with this. So 400, 800, 1,500, and then 7,000. So all the things that we require in terms of consumables to wrap around the tool and polish those frets. The box also contains some thick rubber bands so we can wrap the paper around the tool and secure the paper around the tool. And the kit also comes with the fretboard protector. So we're just taking a look at to see the contents of the kit and we're gonna put this in action. But let's first compare this and talk a little bit about some of the alternatives. Fret erasers. Um, I gotta tell you, I kind of bought into the fret eraser thing for a while and then just stopped using them. You've seen these before. These are just normal fret erasers. But again, I didn't really see the results that I thought I was supposed to be getting with these. I never really saw good results. So I stopped using fret erasers. So after using fret erasers for a while and not seeing the results I wanted, I moved on to the Stumac fret dressing stick with micro mesh. So this is a fret dressing stick 
that has a narrow band of micro mesh around it, and you can really get into the edge and corner of the fret. So what I discovered was scratches on the crown of the fret were easy to remove with really any system. What was hard to remove were scratches on the sides of the fret and at the edge of the fret where it's touching the board. And that's where this tool came in. Now there is a problem with this tool and that is, it's just a lot of work. It's a laborious task because of that flat plane, which makes you have to go and facet all the way around that fret, the entire length of the fret for every fret for every grit. So getting back to the fretalizer system, because we have this groove in here, we're gonna be able to go nicely all the way around. And because the fretalizer is basically longer than the length of a fret, we can actually get this job done much quicker than just using the tip of this sanding stick. So another method that luthiers, guitar builders, and guitar techs use for polishing frets is to use a Dremel and a polishing compound. I use the Music Nomad Frying compound with a Dremel. And I do this on every fret job that I perform. But typically these are gonna be for fret jobs. Either I'm removing frets and replacing them, or I'm building a brand new neck. So the benefit of the Fretalizer polishing kit is essentially having to do with your workflow when you're changing strings. Now, if I'm changing strings, one of the first things I do is oil the fretboard. I'm pretty sure we all do that. But here's something we don't do when we change our strings. We don't polish the frets. Maybe you do. Maybe you run it through a couple of fret erasers. Maybe you use, I don't know, some kind of polishing cloth. But what you don't do is bust out the Dremel and the polishing compound. This is not something you typically do in your workflow when you're changing strings. It's just too much of a level of effort. And so I think that's the benefit of the fertilizer system. Ease of use, quick, in and out, and you're ready to go. So Fretalizer also sent me their Fret Banger Fret Rocker. It is a basic fret rocker, only in this case, they've printed on a handy table with the heights and then handy little measuring markers here, and it's on both sides. So Fretalizer also sent me their fret and block. Now, this is a piece of stiff foam, and the Fretalizer fret and block does come with several sheets of the 400 grit. So this is gonna really give you an opportunity to remove the scratches from the fret ends that your file block tool put in there. So we've explored all the tools that Fertilizer sent me, and we've compared them with tools that could be in your current workflow. Now let's actually demo it. So the first thing I wanna test is the Fret Shaper Fret Spot Leveling tool. Now what this tool lets us do, much like the Stumac Fret Kisser, is actually take care of high spots on the fretboard while the strings are still on the guitar. So I'll use the fret banger and I'll just quickly kind of go through the fretboard just to see if we can identify anything relatively fast. It's rocking on this fret right here. Kadook. So you will feel obviously the resistance as it's sliding between the two good frets and then it's basically abrading the high spot fret. And this is typically the way I'd use the Stumac fret kisser. Sometimes I use semicircles. Sometimes I'll go up and down and sometimes I'll go side to side. And it really just depends on how much material you need to remove. All right. Check out the fret banger. It's gone. So it's no longer rocking anywhere here. Very cool. Okay, so the spot leveling tool, this fret shaper tool works as advertised and it works as good, if not better than the fret kisser from Stumac. And it has a quarter of the price. And remember the height or thickness of this paper is exactly what that notch depth is here. Now let's actually remove the strings and let's test out the fret polishing tool. So this fret is the one we're gonna work on. You can clearly see some scratches on the top, some scratches on either side too. And again, this is an overseas guitar. 
straight from the factories in China. And this is also something we're going to work on here, that fret end with the fretalizer fret block. Let's get to it. It does have a little notch here for the rubber bands to sit in. And then we'll also use this fretboard protector. So I'm not going to tape off the board. I'm also going to angle this like this. So this is what I would do with the fret dressing sticks to really get the top and the sides. So I'm doing the entire length of the fret. So I'm trying to get to that corner and really laying this tool on the fretboard to try to get the corner of that fret. All right, let's move up a grid. All right, that's the polish. And, you know, if you remember what the before looked like, the scratches on the top and the sides are gone. It's always the sides. Like for me, it's the sides. I need a system that can get to the very edge of that fret and the fretboard. I needed something to go right in there. And this tool did it. The fretalizer polishing system worked. No scratches on the side, no scratches on the top. We got a mirror finish. So obviously this is the last bit we need to test with the last tool. So let's go ahead and start on this bit right now. Let's grab our fertilizer fret block and we'll wrap it with the 400. Now I'm kind of going backwards. I wouldn't have polished obviously prior to doing this, but we're just testing these tools. So, so obviously you can just kind of go like this, much like you would with your file. But I'm focusing on this one fret. So I'm just grabbing that one fret. Now this is foam, so it is contouring to the shape of the fretboard and the fret. Might even go up to higher grits too. And here are our results after using the fertilizer foam block and going through the grits, including using the higher grit micro mesh sheets. And if you recall, this is what they looked like before. Very, very, very deep file gouges. So earlier, this is what the top and sides of the fret look like straight from the factory. And then this is what it looks like after with the fertilizer. So clearly there's some very, very fine scratches still, but you can't see them with the naked eye and you can remove those with just more work. The more work you put into the fret, the more mirror finish you'd get. So as far as the fertilizer fret polishing kit, there's nothing else like this on the market. It's actually ergonomic and that it fits your hand. It does the job a thousand times better than fret erasers. I don't even use fret erasers anymore. I don't even see what their point is. What I need is a way to get scratches out of the bottom of the fret where it meets the fretboard and the entire side. That's what I need. And I've been using the Stumac detail sticks for a while, but this tool can do the entire fret at once, and you can go around the fret with this indentation using the micro mesh. Now, this is a polishing kit. So is this gonna replace my Dremel with a compound? No, it's not. I'm gonna use this for every fret job I do 100%. But I'm not gonna break out the Dremel tool in between string changes. I'm just not gonna do it. This is gonna be the replacement for that. So there's also the fret end block from Fretalizer. Now, before this, I didn't have a tool for this. I basically would, you know, use the file and then I would use sandpaper with my hand to kind of like, you know, get rid of all those scratches. So it's nice I don't have to use my fingers anymore. I can use the fret block, again, going up in grits. So fertilizer is being very competitive with their prices. Their tools are worth a look. Give them a shot. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.